Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing a recap from the uh, Saturday, what was it, February 25th Showtime card, the triple header that was headlined by Matias and Ponce for the vacant 140 pound title. Before we get to that, we're going to talk about the undercard. You had uh, Elvis Rodriguez against Joseph Adorno. Ended up being a better matchup than I expected it to be. Rodriguez um, walked away with a majority decision win, but they both uh, kind of traded and chucked it out for 10 rounds. So a lot of action in th that one, but Rodriguez was the deserving winner and he walked away with the decision. Excuse me. Um, then, uh, well, Rodriguez did throw it out there that he'd be interested in fighting uh, Matias in his next fight. So we'll see. But in the co-feature, you had Jamal James returning to action taking on Alberto uh, Palmetto and um, you know ended up being tougher than expected but I mean then again not because both fighters hurt them hurt each other in the ninth round but Jamal James other than that pretty much dominated um, dominated the action here outboxed outclassed um, um, Palmetto to a convincing 10 round unanimous decision as he uh, you know bounced back and uh, you know is still Still wants to let everybody know that he's still in the mix here at 147. So congrats to him. Not sure if he gets a what's next or not. Um, I gotta evaluate the top ten and go from there. But the uh, the main event saw so Sujero Matias versus Jeremiah Ponce for the vacant IBF Junior Welterweight title at 140. And man, um, you know everybody thought Ponce would be the boxer in this one, and Matias the brawler. And uh, Ponce proved that wrong as he went right after Matias early on and it was just an absolute slugfest. And he seemed to almost at moments in the first round overwhelm Matias because I don't think Matias saw that coming the way Ponce fought him. But it ended up being, it ended up, you know, being maybe a recipe for disaster because um, Matias, once he gets himself locked in, you, you saw he just, um, you know, digs in and starts to grind, and that's his kind of fight. And Ponce decided to fight Matias's kind of fight, and it did not pay off. It was a great fight of the year candidate for four rounds, and then in the fifth round, Ponce just couldn't handle it. Matias ended up hurting him badly, and um, and that was all she wrote as the ref jumped in and stopped the fight. But um, yeah, I mean, Sujar Matias a, a, a nice win. Um, he's definitely in the top 10 now, capturing the world title. He'll be in the back half, though, as he's still got a lot to prove. But um, already talking shit with Regis Progre, you know, so hopefully we see something um, significant for Matias in the near future. But we will do a, uh, what's next on him. Um, Ponce probably not going to crack the top 10, uh, but, you know, a valiant effort, no shame in that. He can definitely, uh, you know, get started again and uh, get rolling, but um, you know, he probably won't crack the top 10 and get a what's next video. So um, that's pretty much it. That's what I got. Matias looked pretty good and is the new world champion. So congrats. So that's it. Um, if you guys liked the video, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. This was the Matias versus Ponce um, Showtime recap from Saturday, February 25th. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.